the 18 games we've been playing. We've still another four to go, so you know there, there, there's a lot of stuff going on in, in terms of league positioning and how we ended up. But today it was it was about you know three points. It was a game to be won. How do you feel this went tonight? Yeah, I thought it went very well. Obviously coming away from home uh, against a, a good Sterling team that are up there as well, battling away uh, close to ourselves. It was always going to be difficult. I think it was key to get that first goal. Uh, it can always be decisive at times. You know, we're able to see the game out, a clean sheet, and we go away with the three points. Yeah, in, in terms of us um, start, I mean, uh, you know, looking at the first half, if, if you didn't mind, you know, I kind of looked at it, and maybe in, in three thirds, I thought we, we started very well. I think we were sharp both out of possession and possession. Maybe the middle third belonged a bit to Sterling, but after that, we came back. You know, we, had, we got the goal. Uh, yeah, yeah, it's probably important that you do start the game well, which we felt we did. Uh, we got on top. There wasn't a lot in the game. Yeah. Uh, it was quite even at times, as you say, but we did create a few chances. We were getting down the sides, we were getting crosses into the box. Even for, for dead ball situations, I thought Danny Handling put some great corners in. We just mm -hmm. weren't able to get on the end yet. We maybe got a wee lucky break with the goal, but you know, Uzi's there to take the ball off him and, and put it in the back of the net. So credit to him for chasing it down. Uh, Stirling are always going to come into the game and, and, and have opportunities, but I thought we defended well. Uh, we played a different formation tonight. Uh, we gave you know Sterling uh, that credit, you know that they've been doing very well in games. They had a great result at the weekend, so we had to respect them in that manner. Uh, but we finished the game strong, which was important because you know they're always going to throw everything at us, and we had to defend at times. Uh, we picked them off a few times, just didn't get that that second goal. But sometimes you you, you need to see games out one 0 and we managed to do that tonight. Yeah, just going back to his goal. I mean, to be fair, you know, it's, I think it's maybe harsh calling it an error. We are actually, you know, if, you, if from our point of view, you'd be looking at Uzi's vision. Um, he anticipates it. He takes the ball off the keeper and sticks it away. Yeah, that's right. He's got to be there to score the goal. Yeah. So, you know, it's credit to him. Uh, puts him under pressure and forces him into a mistake. You know, and his work rate, you know, is second to none. And that's how he gets his goal tonight. And through the, the set pieces, which I thought maybe Sterling were just maybe more dangerous on, and, and to, because they weren't really, you know, weren't troubling until too many with pinging shots on target. There were, you know, there was long throws coming in, and the corners we thought we defended them really well. We did, we did. You know, and Callum's not had too many saves to make, yeah. uh, but he was on the front foot. He had to come and take a, a through ball early in the first half. Uh, he was on the front foot, ready to come and take the long throws, which Sterling, you know, credit to them. They go and use it uh, to their advantage, and they are a big side. Uh, mm -hmm. But we defended well. As I say, it's slight tweaking the formation for us tonight. I thought the players, you know, adapted very well. Conrad coming in for his first game. Uh, you know, we played with wing backs tonight, which was different for us, but the, the lads adapted to it very well. Yeah, and in terms of, you know, we'll, we'll leave a man on the line, and, and obviously that, that has its merits on doing it there, because in the, the first half, Liam Brown was clearing off the line. Second half, we had, so it would be. Um, Mark Laird. Mark Laird clearing yep. off the line, yeah, thanks. You said that to them in there. Yeah. You know, you get the same three points tonight for working hard and doing stuff like that, clearing balls off the line, as you do for having a, a, a sulky performance where you play excellent for the whole 90 minutes. It's the same three points, and this is as big a three points as any that we've had so far. Yeah, and with 10 minutes to go, then Sterling make their gamble. They're throwing the big men. Uh, you know, the, there's more people going up front, but again, we coped well. Yeah, we did cope because sometimes when they do put uh, you know freshness on Sterling, there's there's a lot of bodies that are prepared to gamble, throw bodies forward. So it's it's defend well, but try and pick them off. Hopefully you get that second goal, but if not, you're able to see it out. I thought maybe we could have had a penalty second half. Yeah, we thought that at the time when Josh has knocked it uh, past the defender, he's coming in late, and yeah. the ref deems it as a free kick. But obviously, we were just hoping that he was in the box at the time. Yes, uh, but not to be. Speaking to Gary last time, thought you know he, he thought that you know a win tonight would give him the perfect scenario because we play Saturday, then it's Thursday, a bit of a break which is important, then it's Saturday, Tuesday. Yeah, that's right. There was always advantages to finishing second. Uh, it's the same group of games that you're going to be playing, uh, regardless whether it was second or third. It was just a different order. Uh, the wee rest can be slightly different, but we've got to, we've got to adapt and go again. Uh, yep. It's going to be another difficult game against Stirling on Saturday. Well, thanks very much, Grant. No okay, problem. Thank you. See you. Saturday. Thank you. Cheers. Thanks.